What's going on everybody? Aaron Germain here, Blue Collar Outdoors Pro Staff. Uh, I got an awesome video for you guys tonight. Uh, I'm going to be doing a field to plate cooking video for you guys right here in my own kitchen. Um, and we're going to be doing some venison back straps that I harvested earlier this year and uh, cook them up with a little red wine reduction over the top. Um, it's going to be super delicious. So I figured I'd show you guys this one way that I like to prepare this prized piece of meat. Um, as you guys have seen, maybe from my Instagram posts, if not, you can follow me, um, Jur6Main on Instagram or Blue Collar Outdoors Instagram. We've got some pictures and videos on there, but we all love to cook. We all love to cook the meat that we harvest, but you know, I've done a bunch of different, you know, cuts of meat from everything from ground to ribs to roasts to back straps, tenderloins, neck, tongue, heart. So. Uh, I figured I'd start by showing you guys this prized piece of meat that everybody loves, the back strap. Super tender, super delicious piece of meat. And uh, I'll show you guys one way that I like to prepare it and cook it. And then maybe down the road I can do some more videos uh, showing you guys some other cuts of meat that are equally delicious that uh, the way I like to prepare those. So yeah, I'm just enjoying a glass of red wine before uh, this meat thaws out. And then uh, we're going to get to cooking. So we'll see you then. All right guys, here we are in my kitchen. Um, we're gonna get started here in a second. Um, what I'm not gonna show you guys is me taking this meat out and letting it come to room temperature. I always let my red meat come up to room temperature. Um, that way you're not cooking a cold piece of meat that might not cook all the way through or how you desire it to be cooked. Um, I'm gonna sharpen my knife up a little bit. I always work with a super sharp knife. So I'm gonna be using my little work, work sharp knife sharpener little ceramic honing blade on there. I'll sharpen up my knife. And uh, we're gonna be using uh, cast iron today. Love cooking on cast iron skillet. Um, if you guys, guys have never cooked with cast iron before, um, they last forever. They're super easy to clean. They get really hot so you can get that nice good sear on the outside of your meat. Um, I do like to condition my cast iron skillet. So what I'll do is put some olive oil on the bottom of this pan, um, or excuse me, vegetable oil, or any type of oil you really prefer. And uh, you're gonna take a paper towel and kind of just wipe down all the black surfaces of the pan. And then you're gonna bake this pan in the oven for um, you know 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, what that's gonna do is that oil's gonna kind of bake into the pan, and then that's gonna condition your pan so that nothing's gonna stick on there. It's gonna be super easy to clean. There's gonna be no rust, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, real easy, we're just gonna be cooking the meat and then you can uh, obviously cook any sides you want with this meal. Um, we've got our red wine over there we're gonna be adding in and I'll show you how to do the reduction for that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna slice this meat up and uh, we'll get started. Alright guys, so I've got my meat all uh, up to room temperature and trimmed out. Um, I've got it cut in half. I'm only going to be using half of the back strap tonight. I'm going to save the other half for another time. Um, here's the piece of meat after it's all trimmed up, ready to go. Um, I'm going to be butterflying that piece of meat and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. And then all I'm going to get started in my pan is some chopped garlic. And later on, I'll put a little bit of butter in there just to um, coat the bottom of the pan before we throw our steaks on. So to cut these steaks up, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here. <laughs> Pretty simple concept, but uh show you guys real quick. All right, guys. So when you're butterflying your steaks, um, let me show you guys what I mean here. Um, I like to come into, the, come into the piece of meat and cut about two inch steaks to start with cut straight down against the grain guys you always want to cut against the grain um, it releases the muscle fibers and makes for a more tender piece of meat so about two inch steaks two inch steaks do this one right here we're making four of them then what you're going to want to do guys is after you've cut this two inch piece of meat right here what you're going to do is cut back down the middle of that piece all the way to the bottom but don't cut through and then you're just going to open it up like this and boom you're going to have a perfectly butterflied steak there see what I mean 
and those are gonna be awesome. I think it really makes them even tender. So I'm gonna do the same thing to all four of these and then we'll uh, season them up. Alright guys, so real simple on the seasonings. I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to do salt and garlic on one side. And on the other side, I'm going to do a little bit of the McCormick steak seasoning. I really like that seasoning. I think it's got a really good flavor. Not too much. You don't have to overdo it. They're not huge pieces of meat. So you don't want it too salty or overpowering with one seasoning. So this is one side of the meat here. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this McCormick steak seasoning. We're going to flip these steaks over. You guys can see here, beautifully butterflied steaks. Flip them over. Just like that. Man, those are going to be so good. And then uh, we're going to come through and just hit this side with a little bit of... Uh, McCormick steak seasoning. Try to cover the whole piece of meat. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Super simple, guys. Nothing crazy on the seasonings. Salt, pepper, garlic's always my go to for pretty much anything. And boom, there you go, guys. They're all seasoned. I'm going to let those seasonings sit on there for about five to ten minutes while my garlic heats up. And then uh, they'll be ready to throw on. Alright guys, so once your garlic's been in there cooking a little bit and all those flavors are starting to release, uh, make sure your pan's hot enough. Um, for me, my cast iron skillet. Um, you want a really hot pan when you're cooking your steaks. Uh, that way you can get that good sear on the outside and uh, you're not going to be overcooking the meat by letting it sit there and cook for um, too long. So uh, we're going to give this another minute. We're going to throw the steaks on and then afterwards I'm going to show you guys how to make that red wine reduction. Looking good guys, looking good. We're gonna do about <clears throat> three and a half, four minutes on each side. Um, that should do it. You want an internal temperature of about 130 degrees for a nice medium rare piece of meat. Um, I don't have a thermometer right now, so I'm just gonna be doing um, kind of a, a time that I've gotten down over practice and then just also feeling the meat and you'd be able to feel the um, the doneness of the inside by your touch of your fingers. So we're gonna give it a few minutes on each side and uh, should be good to eat. All right guys, so I pulled the two skinnier pieces off already. Um, they're looking fantastic. I'm gonna put all the meat uh, back on my cutting board, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then uh, we should be ready to cut into it. But while the meat rests, uh, we're going to make our reduction in the pan. I'll show you here in a minute. Alright guys, so while my meat rests, uh, you got all these extra drippings here in the pan. It's got that garlic, a little bit of butter, and then whatever juices came off the steak. We're going to use these drippings um, for our reduction. So we're going to go right there with what we've got in the pan. Um, I've got a little red wine little Cabernet. We're going to put this right in the pan while it's still really hot. Let that bubble up and that's going to reduce down to a really, really good sauce for us. Stir it a little. Cover that up and that's going to be a good wine reduction with that garlic and the butter in there and all the juices from the steaks. It's going to make a really good sauce to drizzle over the top of your steak. So uh, we're going to cut into these steaks here in a minute and then we'll show you the finished product. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to cut into the meat here. See how we did. 
got our four pieces here. I'm going to cut into this smaller one here first. Once again, against the grain, we're going to cut. Oh, perfect. I hope the lighting can pick this up, guys, but look at this piece of meat here. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that right there. So uh, we're going to cut some up and then we're going to plate it. And uh, I'll show you how I like to plate it if uh, I've got friends over and stuff just to make it look nice. Alright guys, so the steaks turned out perfect. Uh, I just tried a piece and it's absolutely amazing. Um, so I cut a piece up and I plated it. Um, and this is how I'll, uh, I'll plate it, you know, nice and nice and neat if I got friends over. Um, as you guys can see, that meat is perfect. Pink all the way through the center, but still warm and cooked to a perfect medium rare. Um, that's going to be amazing. And then to finish it off, we got our red wine reduction right here. And we're just going to drizzle that right over the top, guys. And there you go. That is venison backstrap, a little red wine reduction. I'm Aaron Germain, Blue Collar Outdoors Pro Staff, and uh, we'll see you next time on another uh, Field to Plate uh, cooking episode. All right, rewind, guys. I've got to tell you about how amazing this meat is. I'm about to try another piece here. Oh, man. So good. About to try another piece. It doesn't get much better than that as far as steaks go. I don't care who you are. If I fed you this right here, you'd think you were at a four or five star steakhouse eating a uh, $40, $50 plate of steak. So this is free. Harvested out of uh, the good old woods. And uh, you know, it just show, it goes to show you how you really can make some amazing meals with venison. Um, don't let it go to waste and uh, get out there and uh, try some new recipes. All right, we'll see you guys next time.